Ah. Right. I've been alive, it, guys. Um, I just haven't uploaded anything to my channel for a month. A month. Took a month off. Mad. I wish I could give you some grand reason for why I haven't uploaded anything for a month. Um, but there isn't one. <laughs> There is no reason whatsoever. I just haven't uploaded anything for a month. Also, I'm obsessed with these little grades. Anyway, that's not important right now. Mm. So, yeah. I don't know why. I'm sorry, guys. But we can get back into the swing of things now. I've started year 11. I've realised how terrible it is. And, yeah. I'm still gonna have to say on year 11. It's terrible. Oh, that really hurts. Yeah, still managed to. Still got me ears here. Stuff here. It's, um. Gammy. Well, it ain't that gammy, but it's. Not as. Not as I put it. Not as good as it could be. Right. Now. Um. Yeah. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for this. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go rattle some stuff and I'm gonna do a good old favourites video. Cause I ain't done one of them in a long AS time. So yeah. Borderline forgotten what it's like to be on camera. It's been so long. Also, I actually have no clue how quality the light is, is right now because my um iPad has the colour settings demented, so it's easier to read for me because you don't have the blue glasses things yeah so I have all my colors adjusted differently so it's easier for me to read so it right now I look very orange I kind of like it though I kind of wish the video was this orange but anyway let's get started with some favorites my feet are really cold so I'm gonna do this one first because I my slippers on I got some slippers in Primark which I think they're actually my Primark vlog haul thing but I love them they're just these memory foam ones and they're like old lady slippers just black and fluffy and the memory foam and they're really warm I need to put them on my feet are cold and they're really comfy and I love them I wasn't actually at school today because I've been really ill but I've got all my energy back now so now I'm like really hyped and I'm not going to be able to sleep later because I'm so hyped so yeah <laughs> oh god first thing I just want to talk about favourites is this is a look that I'm loving joggers I've never really been oh hello I've never really been one to wear joggers, uh, but I got some slivering joggers the other day. And just look at these. I just love them. They're paying. With this jumper as well, my varsity jumper that I got from Primark whenever ago. I love the little varsity neckline. I just, mm, I feel like an Instagram model. Hey. <laughs> anyway. Uh, wee. Right. Sticking with the kind of shoe theme. Let's talk about shoes. I got some new Nike trainers the other day, um, because I need new trainers, because mine are deaded, my old P ones died, uh, so I've had to get new ones to kind of replace it, I'm not explaining myself very well, I bought new trainers the other day because I need some new trainers, all that really matters, and I just wanted some plain black Nike, huh, Nike trainers, I wasn't really caring, oh my god, I didn't go in looking for a particular pair of shoes. I was just like, I just want some black Nikes. I don't really care. These are what I came out with. I will try and find the name of them. There is no name on them. So I have no clue what shoes these are. If anyone's like a massive Nike fan, they'll probably know exactly what style of shoe these are. But they're just some really nice black Nike shoes. Have really nice arch support, which if you guys know me, I'm obsessed with that because I have dodgy feet. So the arch support is good for moi. I always wear like arch support socks and stuff. And yeah, so I just love these shoes. They're just so comfy, so peng, and I don't know why I didn't get a pair of just plain black Nikes sooner. I mean, I had them, but they were like really old and rank. So moving on. Next, we're gonna get a little bit like, up close and personal as you do. V. I feel like V is something that like 
everyone saw adverts for when they were younger and stuff. I've never used V because normally it's like I'm too lazy, so I'll just be in the shower or not in the shower, in the bath, just like I'm just gonna shave my legs. But the other day I was like, you know what, let's get some V. So my mom was like, sure. Use this one. I, of course, got the sensitive skin one because if you guys didn't know, you girls got eczema and needs to use sensitive skin stuff. Otherwise, she's going to be allergic to everything and I'm going to end up with like bright red legs. And I ain't in the mood because my tan, which is like non existent, is glorious. Like, uh, yeah. But it's just this one aloe vera and vitamin E. Vit, vit, vitamin? Vitamin. Aloe vera and vitamin E. Kill. But it just leaves your legs feeling so much smoother than when you shave them, so I just love it. Like moisturised, and then, yeah. Noise! Let's move on to some like nail polishy things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed with nail polish, and if you couldn't tell from this, I'm so excited for Halloween because it's October, which means it's time for Halloween. And I love Halloween, as we all know. <laughs> so I've got this really, 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 really cute Rimmel. What are they called? Nail polishes. <laughs> Idiot. One is in this really cool green colour because I love me some green. Hear it? Er, just looking very nice. It is called Wedge of Lime, shade 460. Love it. And then to go as a kind of feature nail to that, so this is just like a, um, your normal shine, nothing special uh, nail polish. This one, however, has a little like shimmer to it. Don't know if you can see that. Some little gold shimmer to it, and it's orange. I'm pretty sure I don't have an orange nail polish, but I was like, these two go really nice together for Halloween. Like they have this on all my colours, and then this is a little feature nail, like snazzy, snazzy. Uh, what is the colour? I do not know. It does not say, but I'm excited for Halloween. I also got this Barry M one. I don't really wear Barry M ever because I can never find colours that I like. But I was like, I just want a nude colour that I can get away with for school. I have been. Uh, so this is, I'm not actually wearing it now. I'm wearing just clear. This one, which we'll talk about in a moment. But it's a Barry M coconut infusion nail paint. So it's a high, this is what I'll, I'll read for you. High reflective colour infused with coconut water and coconut oil to hydrate and nourish nails. Yeah, it's just a really nice colour, which is why I picked it out. But it does, it really nicely moisturises your nails and everything. And what I have on at the moment is this, which is the Cutex one. It's an all-in-one strengthener, because my nails, I've actually been, like, growing them long recently. So they're not very strong, they're very weak, because I never have long nails. So this is just to try and help my nails stay strong and healthy and all that. So, yeah. In the theme of year 11, I'm just going to get it done and out of the way. CGP, I love you. This is I have many more revision guys. This is just the one that was on my floor when I started filming. Romeo and Juliet, I guess. What was I on? Oh, the nurse. Well. So yeah, CGP, I love you. Uh CGP the text guides, I didn't think they'd be that good. This one is so brilliant because like, honey, it's got like character files and everything. I mean, I haven't even looked at it. Look, it's got like a comic book cartoon version of Romeo and Juliet, honey. These are good. And clearly there's buy one, get one half price going on in battery stones. Let's move on to candles, because we all know that smelly things are my favourite things. Good sales, always. Start with my Yankee candle. I love Yankee candle. I had got this candle last year at some point. It's probably in a video somewhere. But this is just the Yankee candle, home inspiration, candy cane forest. And because it's getting towards that you know, dreaded time again, called Christmas. I hate Christmas. I'm pretty sure I've said, I love the run up to Christmas, but Christmas day itself, I hate. I just, it's disappointing, it's boring, I just don't like it. The only good thing about it is I get to see my cousins, and I get to see them that much, and I love them, so I get to see them, which is good. But yeah, it's just one of their big jar candles. We only got it because it was on, in the sale, and it smells like candy cane. I have not smelt that for a good year. <laughs> Honey, I cannot wait because all the Halloween candles are coming out of Yankee Candle and they've got new smells this year and it smells really good and there's a Christmas one that's coming out and they smell really good and I'm just getting excited. I love this time of year so much more than any other time of year. Like summer can get in a bin. 
Can I have my summer holidays, like, just the whole way through October, November, and then December? Like, please, someone. Can I just have the whole of November off? I would love it, instead of the whole of August. Who cares about August? Let's just work through August, and have the whole of November off. It'd be so much better. But yeah, this candle, I just, I love it. I love candy canes. They are my favourite food on the whole entire planet. Pizza. Give me candy canes. Mint is my thing, and this just smells so good. And the colour's like really, really pretty. It's grey. <laughs> this grey is so pretty. And then this one actually we got from Home Bargains. It's a mermaid candle. I don't know, so as you, there was like a blue bit on top, which is burnt through, and then it's just like pink, pink and purple. But it actually smells quite nice. I don't even know what it smells like anymore. It smells a bit just burnt. But it did smell nice. I don't know what it was meant to smell like, but I just love the candle and I love the jar. I'm gonna I'm gonna use these jars when they're done. And then this is my next favourite candle, which I got for my birthday from my beloved cousins. And it's an aftershave candle. It's an aftershave candle. And it's in a little like owl jar. I have this thing about aftershave or cologne or whatever people did I just find a read? I was playing my clarinet the other day for my school show and I needed a new reed and I couldn't find one anywhere because I don't play clarinet anymore. I haven't played it for years. I couldn't find one anywhere and I just found one. And it's the right size. Not okay. And it's clean as well. It's not even like an old one. Ow. It's like a new one. Anyway. But yeah, I have this thing about aftershave. I love it. I literally could like... I can just smell it. <laughs> I just melt for aftershave. Like a guy walks past and they're wearing like nice aftershave and I'm just like, mmm, yum. <laughs> it's like my downfall, literally. Like you want to have control over Meg, get you some nice aftershave and Meg just swoons. And this candle, smells like the nicest aftershave I've ever smelled. Although it kind of smells a bit like my dad's aftershave, like his David Beckham one, I think. I don't know, you might be able to buy one. That's probably why I like it so much. It's the one that I'm really used to. It's very homely for me. Yeah. Uh, sticking with the whole theme of smellies. Oh, actually, stick with the whole theme of candles. My mum got me a lighter. That was meant to light then. Hang on. How do I... What? There you go. Mum got me a lighter. That worked that time. It's lit. Literally. It ain't lit anymore though. Ow. Yeah. Do you know what we're going to do? Let's. Where's my coaster? There it is. Let's light. The oh! Okay. You fell as soon as I put the candle down. I'm going to stay up this time. We'll put the little candle here and then we're going to light him. Because it's lit. And when it's lit, we light candles. For the ambiance. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. But mum got me a lighter and it's purple, so it's just pretty. It's huge. Because I was like, I have jar candles and I'm trying to stick my hand in there with a match. Ain't safe. Moving on to more smellies. Some body sprays and stuff. So my mum got me a perfume for my birthday. Here it is. So I've got to do this carefully now. Looks just like this. The bottle's really pretty. Pink little ombre up to clear and the lid's dement. I managed to catch that. I don't know how. <laughs> but yeah, and it's basically the perfume that goes with one of my favourite body sprays ever, the So New York. So I just love how. Mm. Oh, it smells good. I just love, you know, pairing the two together. Mm. It can feel fancy. Speaking of body sprays, this candy floss one, I love So. If you guys couldn't tell, So is my favourite brand for body sprays. This is from their different range of body sprays. This is their body mist collection. And it smells like candy floss. There's a bubble gum one and I want it as well, but this just smells so good. Oh, it smells good. And then there's this one, which I love, love, love. Everyone knows I've been saying how much I love this one. Though I'm probably not gonna wear it anymore because it's a very summery smell and it's not summer anymore. 
So I'm going to put this on the shelf and save it for next year. It was just from Primark, cost me four quid, but it was their Summer Heat Day Body Spray. I wanted to get the other two as well, the Beach and the Night one, but we didn't. Because we're idiots, but it's just a really pretty girly bottle, which is annoying. But it smells so good. And it's got a little hint of masculinity to it as well, which I love. Then some makeup. I definitely know I've talking talking about this, spoken about this before, but I found this the other day um, in my room somewhere. And I started wearing it again, and I'm just how much I love it. It is the Tanya Burr or Tanya 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 Burr uh, Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick like this in the shade Martha Moo. I don't think you guys understand how many months I was looking for this specific shade in this specific lipstick. Uh, it took me a long time. But I swear they're only like 2 99 And the colour and the stay and they don't smudge. They're brilliant for the price. And they're brilliant just full stop. Like I would happily pay a good 10 quid for this. Because it's insanely brilliant. But since it's 2 99 that's always good. And the packaging is really cute. And the colour is really, it's too pink for me. But I wanted it because it was Marfa Moo. But I, it's kind of, it, it grew on me. I love it. Then, I've definitely talked about this before, is the Clearasil Multi-Action Treatment Lotion. And I'm putting this in here so that when I watch this back to edit it, to kind of remind me of Meg, the reason why you have spots all over your chest is because you stopped using your anti-spot lotion. So now you've got spots again. Idiot. So yeah, it's like a five in one. It's for your face, chest and back. I have really bad acne. Not here. I know I'm blessed. Uh, but all across here is really annoying. It's occasionally painful and I have horrific scars like here where you really don't want scars. <laughs> so when I wear low cut tops and stuff, I'm like, don't want to wear low cut tops. Don't really want to wear bikinis either. I mean, I never really wanted to wear bikinis anyway, but I kind of had to this year because I'm like old now. And it's like, yeah, not, not a look, not a look. But yeah, Meg, start using your um, anti-spot cream again. Twice a day, every day, gets rid of your spots. But only if you use it. And then also I got some new brushes uh, from Studio. I finally jumped on the Studio trend. Uh, not with the makeup, just with their brushes, but I love them. Why is this one so black? I don't like black. I mean, I do, I love black. But yeah, I just love the brushes, they're really smooth. And I love how like they're all the same colour depending on what they're for. So like purple is for your face brushes, blue is for your eye brushes, and then I'm pretty sure orange is your lip brushes. I may be wrong. But I got a Studio London contour brush like this. It's just purple and I use it for my highlight. Mm -hmm. Well it's actually has powder on it, so I should probably clean my brushes. Would be a Good thing to do. It is a no makeup kind of thing. And this is just the like, I don't know, blending brush. Let's see if this has powder on it. Oh, oh God, this brush needs to be clean. Look at that, bruh. I could just do my whole look right now with this dirty ass brush. Oh, this side isn't working as well. Okay, well, I'm gonna like dement my eye just to kind of even this out. Oh god. Oh, now I've got to even out both sides. I mean, now I've just kind of been punched, which is always a great look. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so scared I'm going to set these on file. Is that it? That's everything. So, yeah, it took me a month to make a video, and then suddenly you get free within the space of a week. Whoa! Lucky you guys. My bra's coming off. <laughs> Not fun. But. Do you mind? I just got a Twitter notification. I'm gonna go and continue watching some YouTube vids. Um, yeah. My Pierce is currently on my screen and I paused at a really weird place, so I've creepishly had my Pierce staring at me for the last 20 minutes, which was just a bit odd. And uh, I will see you guys next week, hopefully, <laughs> at five with another video. Goodbye!